Conditions couldn't have been better as exercise Kabul marksmen got underway in Cumbria. Formerly a pure infantry battalion, two Yorks have now become a light mechanised force. In Afghanistan, they will be using the Foxhound to taxi mentors between police stations, army bases and government buildings and of course provide protection if required. This will be the first major overseas deployment for two Yorks since they re-rolled 18 months ago and the first opportunity to use their new skills on the Foxhound in operations. Fire! It's been a steep learning curve for the infantrymen, but the battalion have embraced the change. It's better than obviously being a foot soldier and tapping about everywhere, so <laughs> chuck your stuff in back of Foxhound and you're off. Nice just to give your feet a rest. <laughs> yeah. The Foxhound vehicle is designed for the urban environment. It's a fantastic vehicle, it's very manoeuvrable with a twin steering axle at very slow speed. Um, great in the urban environment because it's got two hatches on the top for two soldiers to stand up and observe great arcs whilst they're driving through a uh, congested environment. For the driver and commander it's very easy to drive with an automatic gearbox and the commander can use his door to get easily in and out of the vehicle if he needed to liaise with local people. Um, it's not a hugely intimidating vehicle compared to other vehicles that the army use uh, and it's very easy to be driven uh, in high density traffic in a rush hour scenario that they may experience whilst deployed. Target up! The exercise began in slightly colder climbs in Otterburn, with training on general purpose machine guns and pistols, before moving to walk up for live firing from the Foxhounds. But there are, of course, other elements to the battalion's training. On our All Ranks Brief, we had an Afghan doctor who came and talked to us about cultural awareness. People have started practicing their Dari. Um, so, for example, in, when issuing warnings rather than doing so in English, uh, people have started to do that in Dari. Obviously, we're focusing on worst case scenario stuff with the live fire training. As we move into our mission rehearsal, uh, I believe that the cultural side of it is going to become even more important and even more rehearsed. So, it's definitely at the forefront of our minds as we deploy. I've never been deployed before either. This, is, this will be a first time experience for me. Mm -hmm. It is what I joined the Army for. I wanted to go on deployment. Um, and so yeah, I'm, I'm very excited to be to be having this opportunity to go on tour and uh, to you know serve my country. You spend a lot of time in training, gearing up and talking about operations. A lot of people talking about Afghanistan. Um, not a lot of opportunity to do what people who I've worked with have done before. So to actually do it uh, and do something real in, in an actual in operational theatre is is a fantastic opportunity and something I, I really am wearing to go for. The first rotation of 250 soldiers will head to Kabul in August, by then fully prepared for an important deployment. Hannah King, Forces News in Warcop.